Hello everybody and welcome back. Well, I hope everyone had a terrific weekend. I know I did. The weather here in the Midwest has been absolutely stellar, warm, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I love it. Well, speaking of cloud, I have been using a cloud-based storage service called Ubuntu One. Oh, for the last couple weeks in Ubuntu One, is what I use to upload the audio files of the various podcasts that I do and then um, post them on post them as a link on the Toscasts website. So let's take a quick look at Ubuntu One. Okay, you can get more information one at one.ubuntu.com. This is the main page here, and I must say, coming from a Windows background, I love the main page. Very easy to look at and read, easy to navigate to and through. Now, basically, again, Ubuntu One is a cloud-based personal cloud storage service that you can get up to 5 gigabytes for free. It can do music streaming, and of course, you can upload file photos and files on the go. There's some more information down here that has a wonderful, terrific help and frequently asked questions section, as you see here. Many, many questions, many answers. I looked through about half of these. Very well done, very well written. So basically, if you know nothing about cloud storage, Ubuntu One is terrific. Let's go to one of the uh, other pages. This is the downloads for Ubuntu One. Now something I didn't know, this is available for Windows. Uh, Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Of course if you're running Ubuntu, Ubuntu One is installed by default. It is available for Android 2.1 and higher. And well what do you know, it's even available for the iPhone and the iPad as long as you have iOS 3.1 and higher. And you have more information here. Getting started with Ubuntu One. Sign up for a free account. It says here that uh, adding storage, add on as much storage as you need in 20 gigabyte increments of $2.99 per month. Sounds reasonable. Okay, so let's take a look at Ubuntu One in action. I am running Ubuntu here. This is uh, Ubuntu 11.10. If I go up here to the bar, or to the envelope icon here on the top menu bar, click that, and you'll see here that it says Ubuntu One. Now it is installed by default, of course. You need to set up an account, username, password, and so on and so forth. Now this is the Ubuntu One control panel. Now I have uploaded some various podcasts and I'll show you that here in a moment. It says here to the left I am using approximately 220 megabytes of my five of my allotted 5 gigabytes storage, which comes to about according to this 4%. It says file sync is up to date. You have your various shortcuts here, your account with your personal username, password, cloud folders, devices, course I am tossed today services disconnect here and it says here if I wanted to you you need to install the package desktop couch Ubuntu one in order to enable more sync services which I will not the main thing here as far as this application shortcut here or this menu here is to basically allow enable file sync you click that so each time I drag something into the Ubuntu folder it will automatically sync so let me just click it says here show me my Ubuntu one folder alright so I have three folders Linux 18 PC 18 and a shared folder so let's say I want to drag something upload it I'll just take this news folder here or file 
and I'll just drag it into the Linux A team. As you see here, news is being uploaded to your personal cloud. And that's it. That's exactly how it works. And it says complete. And this was a very small uh, file. Let's see. Yeah, just 518 bytes. So it was pretty quick. Um, I haven't noticed any glitches. As far as the speed of uploading, it seems to be fine. Of course, this is brand new to me. I'm running this and Google Drive. I will be testing the Microsoft Cloud Storage. I believe it's called uh, Skynet. Uh, yes, I almost said Skynet. Sky Drive, not Skynet. That's from the movie Sky Drive. But that's how, in a nutshell, that's how this works. I haven't noticed any glitches, any crashes. It seems to be pretty uh, straightforward. So if you are looking to try something that is basically free, at least up to five gigabytes, check out Ubuntu One, and it is installed by default. If you are running, of course, Ubuntu One. If you are running Windows, and of course, you can download it for Windows. I haven't tested this in Windows or Android. I'm assuming that the setup is the same way, and I haven't experienced any problems whatsoever. So check it out let me know what you guys think okay finally on the Toscast website I use Ubuntu one basically to upload the mp3 once I transcode the screencast into an mp3 file uploaded to the Ubuntu one website I go to my <coughs> excuse me I go to my uh, storage what I have there and basically I choose one of the folders and I think I uh, select uh, to share and it gives me a public link and I use that link to post it onto the Toscast website here then I retitle the link accordingly such as the uh, you know the download SNNNR or the download the Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report let's go to Mars and so on and so forth Ubuntu 12.04 Precise Pangolin Audio Review. I have some video podcasts here, of course. Basically, for example, this one here says it's titled the PCA Team. You right-click to download said files. If I go to the top, to the most current up-to-date file, it says download. I right-click, save link as, and I'll just save it to my desktop click save now this is Google Chrome show all downloads and it is downloading and that's how you download an audio file of the various Toscast podcasts I will click cancel for now or remove because I have everything that I need and that's how I do it so um, oh yes by the way let me know if you guys are enjoying these audio files uh, I was getting multiple requests before to do these now that I uploaded a whole bunch I'm not getting any feedback whatsoever I'm assuming that you are liking them let me know if I get any feedback or any kind of support contributions I will definitely keep these coming and maybe transcode every single updated screencast that I do it'll be more work for me but if this is something that you guys can find useful please let me know I think that's it that's it as far as Ubuntu One and me uploading the files and audio file and keeping them on Ubuntu One as the host and then transferring them to the Toscast website. Thank you so much for watching and welcome aboard all of the new subscribers. It is greatly appreciated. Keep it coming guys. Keep the great comments and the subscribers uh, and the subs coming. It definitely helps to support the channel and everything that I do. Thank you once again and of course as always I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.